Hello everyone. Today we continue to explain the toolbar of Photoshop. First we open Photoshop. Open a picture. First, let's talk about Photoshop Spot Healing Brush Tool. Let's make the brush bigger first. Click on each plot with the brush. We can see the effect of the bot healing brush tool. This effect is very good. Then we look at this. Removal tool. We open another file. The Remove tool can delete unwanted objects in the layer. Use the mouse to select the person on the right. We can see that Photoshop perfectly eliminates people. Although the effect is not very good in some places, but it's pretty good for an AI. We restore the image to its initial state. Then we look at the next tool. Keeling Brush Tool. Let's make him bigger. This way the effect can be seen more clearly. Keeling Brush Tool. Need to set a sampling point first. Hold down the Alt key and click the mouse to set a sample point. Set a sampling point here. Then click and drag on this side of the portrait. It will take the sampling point and the adjacent pixels. Copy to portrait position. Then adjust the pixels copied above. According to the pixels of the portrait position, according to the color and brightness of the original pixel, etc. Adjust the copied pixels. Let's take a look at the following imitation stamp tool with similar functions. Make it bigger. Let's look at this imitation stamp tool. The imitation stamp tool also needs to set the sampling point. Hold down the Alt key. Then click the mouse to sample. After sampling, we draw here on the portrait. So, just copy the pixel sampling points and the attached pixels to the following. The Clone Stamp Tool and the Healing Brush Tool. On the surface it looks the same. But how are they different? Healing Brush Tool, when it moves the pixels of the sampling point down. It will according to the color and brightness of the original image, etc. Adjust the pixels we move over. While the clone image tool, just copy the sampling point and the attached pixels as they are. Do not make any changes. Let's take a look here. Duplicate a comparison layer first. You can compare the different effects of the two tools. We are on a new layer. Use the Healing Brush tool. After sampling here, this works very well. Next, we use the Clone Stamp tool on the original layer. Hide the copied layer. Using the clone stamp tool on a background layer. Let's see the effect. Let's look at the effect of the two layers. 
This is the effect of the repair brush tool. This effect is very natural. The clone stamp tool just looks out of place. This is the difference between the two tools. Let's talk about patching tools next. Close this file. We use this diagram to explain the patching tool. The patch tool needs to use the mouse to create a selection first. After constituency is established, let's drag the selection to the side background so that we can see that the portrait is eliminated. It's like a patch. If we take the pattern of this goal, Let's see. What will be the effect? So, he drags the pixels from here to here, actually copied. The effect is also very good. It adjusts the original pixels. So you can see. The colors on both sides are not the same. That's all for patching tools. Then we look at this. Content Tour Mobile Tools. We also need it to create the selection area. For the places that are not selected, we use the method of increasing the selection area to add it. Add via here. Then we'll see what it does. Move over. Enter to confirm. He moved people over. Fill it with a background here. Then let's take a look. Expand. Extended effect. Move over. Carriage return. Cancel selection. This extended mode works similarly to the target option of the patch tool. But he just copied people over. But no brightness and color adjustments. The patch tool adjusts the pixels according to the background. This is where the two tools differ. Then let's look at the red eye tool. It talks about fixing the red eye effect of people caused by camera flash. We just need to click in the eyes. Red eye to black eye. Okay, let's talk about the brush tool now. First let's look at this, is the size of the brush. This is a small paintbrush. This is a big paintbrush. This is hardness. Hardness of 100. This is a hardness of 8. The hardness of 8 is to have a feathering effect. A hardness of 100 is a clearer edge. Let's talk about this next. Here you can choose different brushes. For example, I choose this. This is the splash effect brush. This is the leaf effect brush. Then, let's talk about the angle first. I set the angle to 30 degrees. You can see that our brush is rotated 30 degrees. Usually use 0 degrees on the line. Here is also the angle. 
You can adjust the angle from here. This angle is not used much. Then we talk about spacing. When setting the spacing to 5%, we draw a line. That's the effect. If you set the spacing to 141%, now draw the line to draw this effect. Next, let's explain the mode of the brush tool. The brush mode is similar to the layer mode. The effect drawn are almost the same. Just go and experience it yourself. Then we talk about the opacity. Opacity 100. Opacity 17. This is the different effect of the two opacities. This is a pressure attribute and needs to be used with a digital tablet. This is traffic. Splash. We draw this effect when he is 100. When he was 14 we drew this effect. Can be less. If we don't move the mouse at this 5. Keep clicking the mouse. Keep clicking. Its color will gradually become darker. If we turn on this airbrush style. We hold down the mouse. It will gradually darken like an airbrush paint. Let's see now. We hold down the mouse. Then drag and stop. Drag and stop. Drag and stop. That's the effect. If we turn off the airbrush style. Hold down. Then drag stop. Drag stop. He doesn't have the above effect. This is the effect after the airbrush style is turned on. Then, recover. Let's talk about smoothing. Smooth value is zero. We use the mouse to draw a curve. This is the curve we draw with the mouse. When we increase the value of this smoothing, so let's draw another curve now. This is after turning on smoothing. The effect of the drawn line. There are a variety of different attributes here. Feel for yourself. This is the angle of the brush. Both this and this need to be used with a hardware tablet. We won't talk about him. Finally, we talk about symmetry. Let's look at this vertical symmetry first. Press Enter to confirm. Then we paint with a slightly smaller brush. This is the effect of symmetry. Then use horizontal symmetry to draw. That's the effect. You can experience other effects by yourself. That's all for the brush tool. Next, let's talk about the pencil tool. The properties of the pencil tool and the brush tool are similar. It is the same except that there is no flow. And the hardness effect is not large. We won't go into details. Let's move on to the color replacement tool. We close this file. Open another picture. Use the color replacement tool. First a sampling point is required. Put first. Make the brush a little bigger. First create a sampling point. Hold down the Alt key and click the mouse. This creates a sampling point. Then we draw here on the window. This changes the color of the window. There are other effects. This is hue. This is lightness. This is the limit lose effect. 
This is the color. Additional property settings for the color replace tool. Basically the same properties as the brush tool. Set about the same. I won't go into details. This is the mixer brush tool. Mainly used to simulate real painting skills, mixing and changing of colors and humidity. Let's take a look at its brush settings. The brush settings here are the same as the brush tool. Let's talk about the next setting. This is the loading brush. This is the cleaning brush. Let's look at cleaning brushes first. When we use the clean up brush, let's create another file. Create a new file. Use pixels 1920. Resolution 72. Make a few more color blocks. Mixer brush tool is used to simulate real painting techniques. Is to simulate real paper, pen and paint. Use the mouse. Simulate our pen. Use this canvas on the monitor. Simulate the color on the paper. On-screen colors include simulated paint on white background. Let's take a look first. Close these two first. Clear the brush first. Cleaning the brush is equivalent to putting the brush in water. To wash it, now there is no paint on the brush. In this case, if we draw on paper, what effect will that have? There are two cases. If the paper is dry, then we draw nothing. If the paint on the paper is wet, then we draw. He just, with this effect, make the spacing smaller. First, first draw. There is no paint on the brush because now the canvas is wet. The brush is glued with red and continues to the outside of the circle. Keep drawing into white. The paintbrush is glued on white again and then draw a second time. The white on the brush remains on the canvas. Then the brush continues to draw. Draw here again. Brings out the red on the canvas again. Finally, the paintbrush is glued on white again. This is a complete pigment mixing process. Then we Cleaning brush Reload brushes This operation is equivalent to putting the brush in the paint box and sticking green paint. Let's clean up the brushes now. Then load the brush. The brush is now glued with green paint. Drag it out and it will turn from green to red to green. Now the brush has white and green. Drag out a little more red. That's the effect. Restore screen. This is to load the brush after each stroke. When selected it automatically loads the brush. After each operation. You will see its effect. Restore the screen. Then we turn off the auto load brush. Let's turn on the clean up brush after each stroke. Clean up the brush after each operation. That's the effect. Restore the screen. Turn off cleaning brushes after each stroke. Open load brush after each stroke. Then turn on to clean up the brush after each stroke. Clean up before loading brushes after each operation. This way you don't see white every time you draw. There would be no white in it. This is the effect of these two properties. This is humidity. 
Humidity refers to the humidity of the paint on the canvas. If humidity is O, then mixed cannot be used. When the humidity is zero, the paint on the canvas is dry. Paint that doesn't stick the brush to the canvas when drying. Higher humidity. The more paint the brush sticks to the canvas when you paint. To load. The higher the value loaded indicates that the more paint on the brush. The more pigment, the higher the humidity. When we only have 30%. If it's 1% lower. Let's look at the mix again. Mixed values are smaller. Mixed effect. The greater the proportion of paint on the brush, the greater the value of the mixture. The more paint on the canvas, the more. The smaller the proportion of paint on the brush. This is traffic. The effect of the flow is the same. As the properties of the brush tool, airbrush style is required to achieve the effect. I won't go into details. This is smooth. The effect is the same as the smoothing effect of the brush tool. Same angle. This is sampling all layers. When we have a lot of layers while it's on, it samples all layers. But the result of the operation is limited to the current layer. Will not affect other layers. This pressure attribute is also only available. If there is a digital version, we now select this file. We uncheck load only solid colors. Then we go to use the Alt key plus the mouse. When sampling the image, click here. We can see that we have used the shape of the roof as the sampling point. Separate colors are no longer used. Let's do something here. Let's tone down the mix a bit. Make it clearer. So we can see. We use image sampling. This is what it looks like. That's all for the mixer brush tool, the imitation stamp tool. We have already talked about. Now let's talk about the pattern stamp tool. Before using the pattern stamp tool, we need to select the pattern first here. You can also customize the pattern you need. Let's look at the pattern that is now selected. Click. Enlarge the brush. Clear effect. Click. Click on him. A pattern appears. If we drag, we can fully see the pattern. Let's change the pattern. We can also use a brush. For example, this brush. Draw. This is what the pattern stamp tool does. Well, that's all for today's lesson. Thanks everyone and bye.